Merry Christmas from Jekyll Island. Miss Leela and I have taken a long road trip. We're getting ready to check out the Holly Jolly Jekyll lights. There's almost two million lights that they've worked to put up and displays. And uh, we want to take you guys around with us. We're really excited about this. We've come down here for several years and really, really enjoy what they do here. So uh, we're going to look around at some of the decorations till it starts getting a little bit darker. And then we're going to show you some really nice lighting displays here on Jekyll Island. So uh, let's come on and see what we can find. Guys, we're at Beach Village here. Not dark yet. Plenty of folks here enjoying festivities. Hello, sir. Are you the guard to the beach? The beach guards. Jekyll Island has this event every year. Cold Stunned Plunge. It's a fundraiser they have to go jump in the ocean and uh, raise some money for the sea turtles. And I guess, I'm not sure, but whoever wins might get to sit in this chair. I'm not sure about that. Could be. That's just your size, isn't it, Miss Layla? <laughs> This is sign self-guided light tour for the Holly Jolly Jekyll. It means you just come and do it at your own leisure. Just go through here and look them over as many times as you want to, just to enjoy. So we're waiting on it to get dark, and we're going to look at some more of these uh, decorations before we head into the lights of the evening. Okay, this is peppermint land. They actually convert the miniature golf course here on Jekyll to peppermint land at Christmas. Got some really cool decorations. Gingerbread man, lollipops, all kinds of cool stuff that kids would really like. And I'm wondering if Santa Claus might have traded his reindeer on in on a dinosaur to pull his sleigh this year. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas.
as you can see, they've got lights and decorations all through the grounds. It's just starting, the sun is just now starting to go down, but you can imagine here in about another 30 minutes what it's going to be. Let's go over here and check out the old bookstore. This is actually the old infirmary for the historic district. When the people come over here to, to stay and live, this was where the medical care was given. This is just a beautiful example of old school architecture. Man, they've done a wonderful job of keeping that restored and refurbished. Amazing. Always like to come out a little bit before dark. It gives you an idea of what you're seeing. I think it makes the colors sometimes more vibrant. What do you think of that, Miss Leela? Is there enough lights out there in that field for you? It is. That's awesome, isn't it? I like the turkeys. Yes. This way. One round. There you go, that's all I need. Really neat experience. The darker it gets, the better it gets. And this beautiful live oak dressed to the hilt with lights. It's a beautiful place. comes the carriage. <laughs> it's 
it's just just after sundown to me I think that the uh, LED lights just really pop uh, before it gets too dark. Uh, those bright LED colors just do strange things with cameras and autofocus, lighting, things like that. But, but this time of, of a day, it's, it's just amazing. It's got a beautiful sunset back there, right here on the beach at Jekyll Island, Georgia. Man, it, it's just an amazing thing. This is the main road coming across the causeway onto the island. I'm telling you, it is absolutely beautiful. They have all kinds of decorations. The trees are just glistening all the way from top to bottom. This is a tree in the middle of the roundabout. Just, I don't even know how you can get up in there to put lights on, but there they are. What's really cool about these settings here, they're literally right on the Atlantic Ocean. This is Great Dunes Beach. They've got carolers out here singing carols. Holding lights, playing music. Dancing, just having a good time. Everything that Christmas is all about. I'm not sure we need this toboggan and uh, scarf here uh, it's in the mid 60s here this evening but uh, there they are in case they get cold really neat got a little carriage ride going on probably taking somebody to the christmas ball heading on down the beach This young man with his dog on his sled heading on out to Great Dunes here. See if he can catch a wave on that sled. Or maybe he just wants to get in some of this sand dune action and have a sleigh ride down to the ocean. These folks here is having a big time at the celebration. We all know that Jesus is the reason for the season and what a great opportunity to celebrate. And this just reminds us that there is celebrating to be done. Wow, this is a great time. I always enjoy coming over here during Christmas. All these beautiful decorations. They put in a lot of work. Many, many months in advance to be sure that everybody can enjoy Christmas and have a wonderful place to come. Always family friendly. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlog and uh, we're going to head back to the historic district and uh, see what they've got going on over there.
Two little lovebirds sitting there on the bench. <laughs> and here's the starts of 12 days of Christmas down this street. First day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. And the second day of Christmas, two turtle doves, the best I remember. Three French hens. <laughs> They got it down, and then they start splitting it on each side of the road. Four calling birds. And the part I think everybody remembers from this song, five golden rings. Yes. Six geese a laying. There's the eggs to prove it. Seven swans a swimming. Mm. Eight maids a milking. Nine ladies dancing. Ten lords a leaping. And they are a leaping. Eleven, eleven excuse me, pipers piping. Twelve drummers drumming. Wow, the twelve days of Christmas. What about that, Miss Leela? Fantastic. The Jekyll Island mosaic. Pretty neat. Um, so, y'all are actually the very first big bride in this family of Oh, this is new. Oh, yes. Yeah. How cool is that? interesting thing about the museum is the fact that uh, it used to be the horse stables uh, back when people lived over here we saw the infirmary earlier uh, where they'd go get medical attention well this was the stables where they kept their horses and buggies and and things like that to to get around they didn't have to fool with that over around their cottages uh, they just had uh, probably people that took care of them over here for them and they just left them over here and come and got them when they needed them Thought that's pretty interesting. Yeah, some of the history of the Jekyll mosaic. Okay, it's got dark. We're going back in through the tour. Oh boy. If I can just get this thing to focus, there we go. And it looks much different at night. All colorful, just beautiful from one end to the other. 
just as far as the eye can see. You have all the palm trees wrapped up over there with lights. Magnificent beauty here, this sprawling live oak. Just gorgeous. There's a Christmas tree. Out on the village green. Well, Miss Layla, something in it. Everybody having a great time. Well, Miss Leela, rub your lucky two pennies together. We're going to see if we can find a parking spot here. They have got shrimp hanging from this tree. We've got purple shrimp in a variety of colors. Hmm. I never thought of shrimp. I never thought of shrimp being a Christmas decoration. But hey, after all, we are on island time. Miss Leela, have you ever known of shrimp being a Christmas decoration? No, but it sure is adorable. <laughs> Look at the tree behind us there. Oh. They shrimp all over, different colors. Yeah. I didn't know shrimp come in colors. No. Wow. Holiday season. Yes. Here's the Jekyll Island Club Hotel. The trees are ablaze with lights. Miss <laughs> Leela? This traffic reminds me of Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. That's <laughs> the same. It's, it's, it isn't much different, that's for sure. <laughs> Carriage rides are moving along. Can't think of a better way to see the Christmas lights and to take a carriage ride. These kids are gonna have a good time. Of course, the horse-drawn vehicles have a different way to go than on the main road with the cars, so that even makes it more relaxing.
Well, Miss Layla, it's just gorgeous over here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Man, all these lights. I saw this group of people over around this oak. I thought there might be a bear over there. Got these little bottom base like gifts around the tree. Bunch of lights. I forget how many thousands of lights they said was on that tree. Big Christmas tree, Miss Leela. Huge. You find a bulb out yet? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No. I think you'd have to really be looking hard to find a bulb burned out in all this. Lots of packages around it. Lots of packages all the way around the bottom of the tree. It's just great to be out here among these be beautiful people celebrating the reason for the season. Well, let's go check these cabins out and see what they look like. Okay. This is the Indian Mound Cottage. Just gorgeous. I know you can't see a lot at night with all these lights, but the, the Jekyll Island Club is right through there. Right there. It's the closest cottage to the clubhouse. Beautiful. Got this gorgeous Christmas tree in the window. These cottages are just amazing. They got them decorated out. Really nice. Really nice. Trolley tour. Coming through. highly recommend making reservations in advance for the trolley tour because they are always full every night they have it. Hello folks, Merry Christmas. This is the mistletoe cabin. Huge wreath on the front door. Yes, sir, beautiful. Poinsettias, I know it's dark, you can't see them here, but they're just absolutely amazing, just gorgeous homes. Just, whew. They don't miss anything. Well, this is the Goodyear Cottage. I don't really know what to say about that. It's just curtains of lights. Uh, yeah. So, the Goodyear Cottage. Nice pretty lights and garland and wreaths. Five of 
Merry Christmas. This is the Moss Cottage. This is the largest cottage on this street. I mean, and my favorite. I've been here many times, all different times of the year, and it always looks amazing. It's great. Ring the bells. This is a new area back here behind the cottages. And the carriage rides actually come down through here. So if you're in a car taking an auto tour, you're going to miss these right here. You got dolphins jumping up out of the water. Shrimp boat, jellyfish hanging up in the trees. Yeah, we got jellyfish, Miss Layla. Last but not least, we don't want to forget the jolly old elf, Miss Layla. All kinds of different snowmen, soldiers, candy canes, Christmas trees. Looks like Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, and a couple of the elves is going on a trip, Miss Leela. Yeah. Headed back to the North Pole. They've been to the beach over here, and now they're headed back up to get the sleigh. <laughs> long trip. Yes, it's a long trip. Well, Miss Leela, a holly jolly Christmas yes. on Jekyll Island. Yes. Once again, they just keep adding more and more lights, folks, to this beautiful, beautiful place. I know there's a lot of lighting displays all over the United States and the world, but uh, they just keep, hand, keep making it better here. So if you're down to coastal Georgia in the Golden Isles around Christmas time, this is certainly a must see. We highly recommend you come over and uh, check out the Holly Jolly Christmas. Guys, if you like this vlog, hit that big thumbs up button at the bottom. Consider subscribing to Popular Adventures for more adventures like this. Uh, we're gonna be heading back to Tennessee after this. Uh, we're gonna go to Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg and, and check out uh, some amazing Christmas lights up there. But I uh, wanted to take this road trip and it's time to Wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Uh, hope you and your families are blessed. Stay healthy and safe during this holiday season. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you back in the mountains on the next vlog. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.